Hi, it's Charlie Madigan again back in my workshop. I finished this one. Thought you should see it. It's a lovely um, mahogany ukulele, baritone ukulele from the 1950s. It was a harmony at one time, but I took all the ID out of it. It has no serial number. You can't tell when it was made or by whom, but it came from a big factory down in Chicago. And um, I'll tell you about these things. They're, they are shitty when you get them, but they clean up really nice. And I think they sound really nice too. So uh, you've followed this at all, you know that I rebuild them and sell them and then contribute a good deal of the money to food programs here at Evanston for the winter so people have something to eat. Anyhow, um, uh, looking around for songs to play on the ukulele, there's a, there's a bunch of them. Um, this is not a standard ukulele song because I've played it many times on a guitar to the acclaim of my tens of fans. And... Um, they um, like it a lot, and I thought I would just give it a shot on ukulele, see what it does, um, because it gives you a chance to walk up the neck, and you can see how easy it is to play this. This is the beauty of it. It's nylon strings, which means you have to tune them a lot, and be careful about your tuning. But this, it's absolutely effortless to play one of these things. If you can spend a month just getting it down, then you'll understand the way I do, that um, you can play whatever you want, or whatever you can hear in your head. Um, and that's a good asset for having a stringed instrument. Guitars can hurt your fingers, they're hard, you have to be diligent about it. Um, and I know that because I played them for 50 years. But um, these things, not so much. These are forgiving, friendly instruments invented by Portuguese sailors who took them to Hawaii and got the Hawaiians all enthused about it. But um, they're really very nice to um, hold and have and, and even just sit around and look at because they're pretty. Um, this song comes to me from one of my um, mumbling heroes, Leon Redbone, who I once watched at a folk festival spend a half hour tuning. I think he was high on something, but he just tuned and tuned and tuned and never did get around to playing. But um, anyhow, um, this is one of the songs that he did um, on one of his albums that I've got someplace, <coughs> and um, I'm stealing it. So um, he stole it from Irving Berlin. I'm taking it from him. So you can have a listen and see what you think about it. It's called Walking Stick. I'm singing this song because after my brain surgery at the beginning of this year, a year ago now, um, I had to use a walking stick and I thought, well, that's not so bad and I've got a reason to sing that song. So anyhow, here I am. Without my walking stick, I'd go insane. I can't look my best to feel undressed without my must have my walking stick, cause if it rains, <laughs> close, rains, if it falls, it can't be outdoors without my cane, if I ever go outdoors without my walking stick, it would sure be something you could never explain. Well, the thing that makes me mad on Mother's Lane would go for naught if I were caught without my cane. So, there you are, a walking stick. Um, what I wanted you to notice in this is how easy it is to do this and this. Not hard to push down, not hard to move, and it does exactly what it does on a guitar, except it's got a little bit of a deeper tone because of the nature of baritone ooks. Um, anything you can play on a guitar, you can play on a new, you can play jazz, things like that. Um, but mostly what I found is that it's the perfect solitary instrument for and people who play music. Some of us just sort of like to sit around by ourselves and ponder things and pick up what comes out of us and play songs or write songs with them. Um, and the ukulele is ideal for that. These ukuleles, I buy where I can find them, and, and they cost a little bit of money, but not too much money, and, and they're ideal for rebuilding. I sell them for $475 with a spectacular case included and a gig bag, so you can just haul them around and um, play them and take them wherever you want to take them. Um, they're durable. They're strong. The strings last for months if you don't want to change them very often. They're very easy to maintain. Um, and like I said, the money from these things goes to help people get food during the winter. 
um, and uh, not during the winter too, but during the winter and particularly now. So um, if you have any inclination toward thinking about buying one, you should. Um, you can learn how to play it and sing to yourself or sing to your loved ones or your children or whatever, or they can sing to you, doesn't matter. Um, it's just a nice thing to have. So um, I've got a bunch of them sitting around and uh, we'll continue to work on them and we'll continue every month feeding money to the food program so that people get food for winter. But um, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.